say that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Before we get into the planning part of the video, first a flip through of my April setup. This setup has been inspired by my first ever video here on YouTube, with a redo in my current style. I'm so happy with how it turned out. The colors just beam spring to me, and because I like it so much, I use it way more, even though it's not really visible in this video. Now onto my May setup. Because it has been a while and Skillshare plus the Mint Garner inspired me, I decided to go with a watercolor botanical theme for this month. For the cover page, I'm starting with a reddish orange for the main flower and adding it on layer by layer, making sure not to soak the page and rub over one spot too often. When I do that, it sometimes bleeds through the page, which of course I want to avoid. So when painting the flower, I don't know the name of it though, I am ensuring that I put some more of the vibrant red on the edges to really make it pop. In the middle, I'm going for a darker green color. I'm actually not sure why I did that, but it looks quite good when blended properly, of course. While that dries, I'm painting the leaves above the flower in the same perlin green that I added in the middle of the flower. Because the flower didn't pop enough for me, I'm going over it with a more vibrant hue of red. And I'm adding some extra dimension by making the green more vibrant. For the ranunculus, I'm starting with the soft green in the middle, followed by a pastel pink. I'm not sure how to call the technique which I use for painting this, however, I think it makes more sense to see it rather than me trying to explain it. I'm also switching it up later in this video, so don't pay too much attention to it, I guess. When I'm done with the pink, I'm going back in with the light green to add some dimension. And while that times, I'm painting some leaves. To really get the deeper shade of green, it is important to do the wet on dry technique so it doesn't bleed through the pages. so far I wasn't too happy since the green shades looked too much alike. This is why I added some olive green on the long leaves on the left side of the page. Then it was time for the little flower knobs. I painted those in a shade of amber. In this time the first layer of the ranunculus and the other flower have dried. I went back in to create more depth and vibrancy. was still wet, I grabbed some green with my brush and dotted at the bottom of the knobs to show where the bottom is, and also to make them look more interesting. While this is drying, it's time for my title. I'm always so happy when it is made because that means that the entire title fits in my template and I can't really explain why it makes me so happy. After I 
waited for everything to dry, I went back in with my Micro 03 fine liner. For the flowers and the petals, I went over every line twice, making sure that it is not perfect, to emphasize the sketchy look and feel. With the little flower knobs, I made sure to outline them very loosely. When it comes to the ranunculus, I basically scribbled lines in the shape of the flower to give them a bit more depth, but later in this video, I will change this up. the Dutch door cutouts have been made and now it's time for the background of the cover page. I decided to draw some big leafy petals with some dots in the light green color and slowly create a gradient by adding more of the perylene green to the lighter shade every so often. While you can watch me do this, I wanted to introduce you to this one's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring online classes in so many different expertises. Perfect for everyone who wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. I, for example, used it to follow some more watercolor classes to learn some extra techniques and to feel more confident within my skills. But if you want to explore a new hobby, learn a new skill, or just like me, want to become better in things such as video editing, painting with any kind of medium, photography, and graphic design, Skillshare is the ideal platform. The first thousand to use the link on my description box or code Amber's Notebooks will get a 113 trial of Skillshare. Now, let's get back to the video. The background page is done and just needs a little trim. When this page is finished, it means that the cover page is done and we can move on to the monthly calendar spread. For the calendar, I have decided to use different flowers, starting with this warm yellow anemone. The edges of each petal will be darkened by a shade of amber On camera, it looks a bit weird, but in person, it's very nice and vibrant. Moving on to the ranunculus. As I mentioned before, I switched it up later in the setup. Instead of painting all the petals like shapes, I blended the colors into each other, starting with a light green, a light pink, and finish it off with a pastel red. When the base layer has dried a bit, I went back in to create some more depth and define some petals with a pastel red. On to the next flower. This one is the same as on the cover page, but I unintentionally went a bit more red. However, the technique stays the same. When leaving that to dry, I'm grabbing a piece of washi tape to help me create sharp edges for the flower knobs and leaves that are touching the edge of this frame that I'm using.
finished with that, I started with painting the swatches. If you do this as well, make sure to be a bit more patient than me because I left some marks since I wanted to be too fast. While it all dries, it's time for the title. I started with the outlines, and with some editing magic, the coloring is done. For the highlight of the calendar, I thought it would be cute to recreate some of the gradient of the last page. So that's what I did. For every stroke, I added some more perylene green. I'm not sure if I think it's too busy or if I like it a lot, so let me know down in the comments below what you think. I let the page dry and now I can finally start outlining. I think the time lapse speaks for itself, so I'll just let you watch. After the drawing, I can finally underline my calendar and the number of the days. And voila! The calendar is done and we can move on to the quote page. For this page, I decided to freehand everything, except the quote itself, and to not overthink it. I also wanted to quickly talk about the journal that I'm using. I'm working in the April Showers journal from Archer and Olive. It is in this gorgeous lilac shade. And if you want to have a journal like this as well, I do have an affiliate code. Use Amber's Notebooks 10 for 10% off your entire purchase, with which you can save some money and you can help me out as well. like how it turned out. Even though the page is unevenly decorated, I feel like it's balanced overall and that's what matters. While I let the painting dry, I used some editing magic to draw the title and for the highlights of every other day, I decided to keep it consistent and also paint it in a gradient. Liner and do the line work. Again, going over every line twice so that the loose sketchy look that I like so much is created. When the line work is done, it is time for the quote that says, May the petals teach me the art of letting go. It is something that I'm working on as hard as possible, and therefore it's the perfect reminder. To finalize the page, I'm numbering the gratitude checker and outlining the quote. Now this page is finished as well. The last part of this month's setup is my mood checker and another quote page. With some editing magic, the bold lettering has finished and then I went back in with a thin fine liner to finish the calligraphy. Holding on 
on to the thin fine liner, I wrote the quote, Made of flowers remind us of why the rain is so necessary. Which I think is just a super cute quote. Now that I'm writing the voiceover, I feel like I maybe should have switched the quotes um, because they fit better with the design on the background, but oh well. While I'm painting the background, I wanted to quickly remind you that after watching this video, you can click the link in the description box below to be one of the first thousand to redeem your free trial month of Skillshare and to start exploring new hobbies and skills. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!